All right, let's look at the Rarity Collection that's at about a month away, a little bit more than that. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of weird information floating around out there. I want to break down this set, what we think we know about this set, and really kind of clear up some of the misunderstanding that I've been hearing about this set. So let's get into the Rarity Collection today we're going to uh, reveal the giveaway winners from the last video on the next video which should be on friday but if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button we would love for you to be a part of the community also hit that like button it does help us out tremendously all right i appreciate it greatly we're going to jump into the rarity collection because i've been hearing just a lot of strange ideas about this set. And I just wanted to break it down a little bit because one of the things that Cohen and I did for probably a year was we just opened up Rarity Collections for almost an entire year. Uh, we opened up the Rarity Collection 1, the Rarity Collection 2, the Rarity Collection 3. Then we opened up the Prismatic Art Collection. We opened up the God Box. We opened up the Shiny Box. We opened up all kinds of OCG products. So we're very familiar with the style of this product and just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I'm going to bring up just the, the info on the Rarity Collection just so that you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about and we will um, talk about it from there. All right, so this is the Rarity Collection. It is an OCG product that is being brought to the TCG. What I mean by that is this is not the first time the OCG has gotten a product like this. As I already mentioned, they had a Rarity Collection 1, 2, 3. The Prismatic Art Collection was very similar to the format of this box. So the OCG is very familiar with this sort of product. The problem is the TCG is very unfamiliar with this type of product. This is something like we've never seen in the TCG, but something that we've longed for for quite a long time. Um, this is an exciting box to look at. It's going to be an exciting box to open. Um, and I want to share some of why it's pretty exciting and then also go over some of the confusion. So first of all, you're getting five cards per pack. And, and this is just following the OCG pattern. You're getting five cards per pack. Two of them are going to be super rares. Two of them are going to be ultra rares. And one's going to be a secret rare slot. So two supers, two ultras, and a secret rare. But in, that, in the ultra rare spot, you can, if you're lucky, you can also pull a collector's rare or an ultimate rare. In the secret rare spot, if you're lucky, you can pull what is going to be a platinum rare. Um, in the OCG, it's an extra secret rare, but they look very, they look pretty similar. Um, uh, or you can pull a quarter century rare in that secret rare spot. The super rares are always going to be super rares. Um, so that's kind of the breakdown of how the packs work. Five cards, they're all hollows, and it's either super, ultra, or secret, and you can get the upgrades in those slots. Now, we do have a lot of cards now that are confirmed to be in this set. I'm going to go through them with you just so that you know the cards that are confirmed. And that is Ash Blossom, Nibiru, Effect Veiler, Infinite Impermanence, Baron de Fleur, Boral Load Savage, Egyptian God Slime, Pot of Prosperity, Triple Tactics Talent, Forbidden Droplet, Nightmare Unicorn, Dark Law, Evenly Matched, Time Thief Redoer, as well as that Blue Eyes, I can't remember the name of that Blue Eyes card that came out in Legendary Duelist Season 2. That is also confirmed in here. So you got quite a few cards that are confirmed in here. Now, 
all of these cards were also in the OCG product. Which leads me and many to believe that what you're going to be getting in this set is basically the OCG product just moved over to the TCG. You're pretty much going to get the same cards. Now that's not confirmed, but that's a pretty good guess. I think it's the best guess out there. Um, I think it's an educated guess. I think it's a guess with some backing behind it that you're going to get the same product the OCG had minus one card. And that minus one card is Max C. Of course, you're probably not going to get Max C. And they're going to take that out and they're going to insert one other card uh, in here that the OCG didn't get. What that card is, your guess is as good as mine. Um, but... Um, the idea, and I've heard this quite a bit, but the idea that we're going to get the alternate arts of the Unicorn and the Live Twin alternate arts and the IP alternate arts, I don't know where these ideas came from. That, that, that just seems like wishful thinking to me. That just seems ridiculous. There's nothing to indicate that you're going to get those cards, yet people are talking about it like, we're going to get those cards. Why do you think you're going to get those cards? The OCG had a product where they did the alternate arts of many cards. It's called the Prismatic Art Collection. This is not the Prismatic Art Collection. This is the Rarity Collection. It's a very different collection that you're getting. So the idea that you're going to get the Nightmare Unicorn alternate art or you're going to get the Live Twins alternate art that we've been waiting for, that just seems crazy to me. Um, if I were you, I would not put a whole lot of stock in getting those alternate arts. Now, you are going to get the Eldritch alternate art because it was in the OCG Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary. So, but any card that's not in there, I don't know why we would have the assumption that we're going to get those. Uh, at best, that seems like wishful thinking to me. And uh, and I wouldn't go around telling people that you should expect to get those. I don't think that you're going to get them. I don't think you should expect to get those. Um, I think probably Konami is thinking, we've done a great thing bringing this product to the TCG. We've given them what they've wanted for years. And they probably think, we've done our job, that's enough. And to be honest with you, I think they're right. Uh, I, I, I don't think they need to add anything else to this product to sell the product. I don't know why anybody would think that they need to add anything to the product because it's going to sell all by itself. Why would they just add more and more stuff to a product that is already going to fly off the shelves? So I don't see them doing the alternate arts in any regard. Now, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I apologize, um, but I think the best evidence, the best thing that we can look at, the, what we have in front of us says, you're not getting those. And to speculate that we are getting them is just that, it's speculation. And so I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna traffic in that, I'll let other people do that. Um, the second thing that I want to bring up that I hear a lot of people confused about because we are getting seven different rarities in this set. And one of the things that I hear a lot of people saying is I'm very excited to see what rarity each card gets. Um, and that is how the TCG works. The TCG generally works, you, you get you get cards and you wanna see what rarity they're gonna get. Are they gonna get a secret rare, an ultra rare, or super rare? This is a very different product. And the way that this product works is every single card in this set, all 79 cards are gonna get printed in all seven rarities. They're not getting special spots. It's not like you're going to get Baron de Floor in um, 
ultimate rare and that's the only place Baron de Flor is. Baron de Flor is going to get reprinted in seven different rarities in this set. You're going to be able to pull Baron de Flor in seven different rarities. I've actually pulled the same card in the pack in, in different rarities. I pulled something like Pot of Extravagance Secret Rare and Pot of Extravagance Super Rare in the same pack. So know that every single card is getting reprinted in all seven different rarities. Now that is going to have a massive effect. And the effect that it's going to have is it is going to completely destroy the value of all 79 of these cards. Um, the value of these cards is going to be very, very little. And I know you, some of you out there may think there's no way that Pot of Prosperity is going to be $5 or less. It is. It most certainly will be. Especially in Super ultra and secret rare yes it will be now it will still hold value in quarter century it will still hold value in ultimate rare it will still hold value in collector's rare but in those lower rarities and secret rare is a lower rarity in this set it absolutely will be worth very little and that is why if you are holding on to these cards, if you're holding on to your pot of prosperities, if you're holding on to Forbidden Droplets and Triple Tactics Talent and Infinite Impermanence and Nibiru and Ash Blossom, if you're holding on to these and you're not playing them right now and you don't plan on playing them in the next month, you need to sell those right now because you will not be able to get nearly as much once this set comes out. This set will completely destroy the value of these cards. It will, because you're gonna have so many of these cards in seven different rarities. Now that's great for budget players, because budget players are gonna be able to pick up Prod of Prosperities in supers, ultras, and secret rares for pennies on the dollar right now. You're going to be able to do that. It's also great for people who like high-end cards because you're also going to be able to try and grab Pot of Prosperity in Quarter Century, Ultimate Rare, and Collector's Rare. You're going to, so it's great for everybody, but the one person it's not great for are people that are holding on to these cards right now. Your cards will drop in value. The only people that I would say you should hold on to these cards is if you have higher rarity of these cards. Like right now, I've been buying collector rares of Pot of Desires, Lightning Storms. Um, if you have those, those are still going to have some value because the collector rares in this set are different from the collector rares in the TCG. They are. They're very different. So those are still going to have value. If you have the original print, if you have Blazing Vortex, Pot of Prosperities, you can still hold on to those. But if you're rocking the tin version of Pot of Prosperity, um, you need you need to drop those. You need to get you need to get out from under those quickly. I told you three months ago to start selling these cards. It might be a little bit too late. Actually, Pot of Prosperity isn't doing nothing but going up because people need to play it. If you're not playing it, you should be selling these because the bottom is about to drop out on all 79 of these cards. All of them. Um, the, the other thing about this is that, that this these 79 cards are going to work the way the OCG works. The high end, higher rarities will have value. The lower rarities will have very little value, even though they're good cards. In the TCG, it doesn't work that way. Our secret rares still have value, even when there's a uh, starlight. So you can take something like Zeus that came out with a starlight and a secret rare. That secret rare still had value. That secret rare in the rarity collection is not going to have value. It, there's going to be so many of them that you should get out from under them. Now, here's the bad news on this set. I think this set is phenomenal. I am all in on this set. We're buying more cases of this set than we've bought of any other product. We have already bought 
more than we bought of any other product. I'm in on it. I love it. I think it's a great set. But here's the danger. And the, the danger is kind of twofold. And what I'm afraid is what Konami's going to do when they move it from the OCG to the TCG. Because they have a history of doing this. So in the OCG, when you open up a box, in that box, you get two collector rares, two ultimate rares, two extra secret rares, which is going to be platinum secret rares for us, and one quarter century rare in one box. That's a whole lot of higher rarity cards. Do you not think that, or do you think it's beneath Konami to lower the number of high rarity cards you get per box? Meaning, could they make it so that you get one ultra rare or um, one ultimate rare, one um, collector rare and one quarter century rare? Or maybe they even, we already know that we're gonna get three, at least three high rarity cards per box. But in the OCG, you were pulling a lot more than that. So my fear is, is that they're going to cut down on the number of good pulls that you're gonna get per box. That's fear number one. And I think that that's kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting one ultimate, one collector rare, and one quarter century, and maybe one platinum rare. That's what I'm expecting. But that is less than what the OCG got. The second thing that I'm worried about, and, and for good reason, is that I'm worried that there's going to be short prints in the higher rarities of these cards. Meaning, so quarter century rare, they're going to short print things like Ash Blossom, Triple Tactics, Pot of Prosperity. I don't think that it's beneath Konami to short print. In fact, they had, they used to never short print in the tins. Now, every year you're getting short prints in the tins. Now, they're not short printing the expensive cards, but they are short printing cards in the tins. Trust me on that. There were lots of cards that were short printed in the tins. I could definitely see short prints in the higher rarities. Now, I'm not saying they're going to do either one of these things, but these are things that you and I should be aware that could take place when this product moves from the OCG into the TCG. This is just some stuff that I think that we need to be aware of with the Rarity Collection because it is a set like we've not seen in the TCG. So a couple things that I wanted to clear up, a couple misconceptions that I think are floating around out there that I wanted to clear up, as well as a couple cautions. I still think it's a great set to go in on. Um, I would. The, the other thing that I am a bit worried about is supply. I am worried that supply is going to be very difficult because of the demand that is going to be placed on this product. Again, this is a product we have waited forever for, and people are going to be buying this. Your OTS might have a hard time getting it. Um, the, your pre-orders, if you put pre-orders in late, you might have a hard time getting it. I'm not saying that you will. I'm just saying I'm worried that there's not going to be a supply to meet the demand. So those are just a couple things that I am worried about, but I think it's a fantastic set. I'm super excited about it. And, um, and we're going to have a lot of fun opening this set up. Um, so that's what I got for you today. The next video on Friday, we're going to do a little deeper look at, uh, um, the next core set coming out, Age of Overlord, which is another set that I am very high on. So my name is Todd from Co2 Cards. Hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. And I am out of here.